Welcome back my children to another Yu-Gi-Oh cards opening. Today I will be opening another three blister packs that I got from Rite Aid about four to five years ago. They all contain a different pack except this one has two of the same. Um, I think it's the duals pack, um, the one that has Yu-Gi on it. I kind of forgot what, what it's called. But yeah, anyways, um, I'm doing three. So they each contain two packs a full card, one rare card, and 15 cards in total, which includes the full and rare. But sometimes it could be different. It could be two holographics, it could be two rares only, or one rare, one holographic. Regardless, let's see what we get. So I'm just gonna open them, take the little pile, put them on the side, take the packs, both of them. One is Duelist Pack Yugi, the other one is Cybernetic Horizon. Pretty cool. Alright, throw this out. Next one. Let's see which one, which packs this one contains. Okay, this one is the one that has two of the same packs inside. So let's see. It is Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh. Yeah, this one. It's a pretty cool pack. Also, I think it's a uh, quite rare. Anyways, I'm glad I saved these for a very long time. They are um, many of the packs are quite quite old. This one is Invasion of Chaos and Speed Duel Arena of Lost Souls. A lot of packs with Yugi on it on the on the pack. Yeah, except this one, I guess. These all have Yugi on the pack. Very very cool. Anyways, first let me show the cards. The loose cards basically i just want to fix them nicely before i show them all right finish with that one next pile i just don't like them being all upside down and whatnot there okay that's the second pile now for the third one just one here showing oh great we saw it, it's the rare, but whatever. There's another one right here. Two of them. Another rare. So I'll just do this one since we saw most of them already. First is Geyser Shark. Cool. A fish that apparently is a shark. Kind of. Okay, I see it. Here's the tail. And uh, I guess it's a shark. Whatever. Anyways, that's that first card. Now for Evo. Sing singular singularity singularity maybe for the evil tiles evolve tiles I think or evolve source whatever that's a draft card next is oh I like this um this archetype the artifact libraries the artifact cards they're pretty cool I've seen them and I like them anyways next one is blizzard thunderbird I've seen that one before Next is Silv Sylvan, Sylvan, yeah, Sylvan Snap Dressin Dressin Dress Snap Dragsine Dressinagon Dressinagon. I don't know. It's kind of hard to pronounce, but uh, that card, that's a Sylvan card. So that's the first rare. Next is Bujin Bujinji Bujingi maybe Warg. One of those Bujingi or Bujin cards, whatever. Pretty cool. Has 19, uh, 1900 defense. Then Cat Ear Tribe. This is a very old card from Magician's Force. I remember that, that set. It's a Beast Warrior. This is a thing I like about these blister packs. They have old cards as well. Awesome. I like how she's like a little girl with cat ears. Or is she a cat? Kind of hard to tell. And then there's like two cats with her. Pretty cute card. So that's the second rare. Then there's the Phantom Knights of Shadow Veil. I like that card. It's a knight on a horse and the knight seems to be made of fire because the face is all blue and his body as well. That's a very cool artwork. Very badass. There's the effect. All right, next is another artifact, Fail Not. Very, very cool. I'm a fan of this archetype. Anyways, oh, another rare. So there's uh, the thing that happens as well. Sometimes you get more than just 
the two rares or rare and what was the other one other thing i said foil or rare card sometimes it's more than one foil one rare just potentially there's still a foil in here anyways uh bujing bujingi crow there's another bujin monster why don't you just mention the g and the i are there other cards that have bujing and maybe uh, different letters at the end anyways that's a very cool card next is single purchase there's the goblin purchasing one of the pots and there's a pot of greed right there with this goblin and then oh i know this is another monster right here as well this i think the seven colored fish if i'm not incorrect and i cannot make what that is potentially just just the hands anyways very cool card the artwork at least then there's galactic charity and then galactic Sh charity again okay another rare perform perf perform pal cheer mall so a little girl mall mall whatever cheering and looking very ch shy it's kind of like a weird artwork it's kind of hard to tell the face it looks like it's facing the sideways but it's the little bomb bombs that are blocking its eye her eye a beast pendulum and there's still a holographic literally that's four rares and a holographic awesome this is a good false advertisement anyways uh the gin yeah there's another gin oh no wait the other ones are bed be gin but what are they called yeah bujin never mind they're different names the gin uh drag dragonos Stakeator of rituals something like that not quite sure but it's a holographic a very very cool holographic i like the his little what is that a mallet what is the, no not mallet um i forgot what the weapon is called the thing that has a, a like a ball in the, at the end and you can swing it around but yeah i'm not sure from what set it is at i mean it's from but yeah a super rare anyways put them right here all right i'll leave them right there next pile let's see what's in these I'm trying to pick them up all right first is destiner hero defender very cool from um the original set i just don't remember the name of it then there's gravity bind another old card uh, from starter deck four then there's Des La Lakuda, another uh, old monster that's a uh, old set I just don't remember the name as well then ooh Silva Warlord uh, Warlord of Dark World I like these these um the, the dark dark world monsters one of my favorite archetype a fiend monster it's a limited edition so potentially from like a um i don't know a special edition or something like that and there's echo a scale escalation a, a scalation a scalation i don't know continuous trap card then there's scape gate space gate i mean another continuous trap card and also another old card from like the 5d sets then there's a magic gear gear magic gear panda i believe from another old set as well then there is alexandrite dragon i like this card he has two thousand attack for a four star monster very very cool then there's um abyss actor trendy understudy a um old circus man i guess I'm assuming he's the leader of the circus. It's a fiend pendulum. Very cool. Froze, frozen soul. A very, very old card. You can just tell how old it is. And it's like a little beat. They probably took it from a little child and put it in here to sell it. But yeah, from another old set. DCR, which whatever that is. 
then there's Getsu Fuma, and then there the Calibrator. All, almost all of these cards are from like old sets from years ago. And then there's Foolish Burial, 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 or oh, bar yeah, Burial, right? Oh, and then the, uh, the rare is Lenadar, Six Samurai, uh, Kajeki, Cage Key, Cage Key maybe, Kajeki or whatever. Very cool card, the uh, Six Samurai monsters. Oh, then there's Reaper Scythe, Dread Scythe, Scythe or whatever. Awesome. There's one of the the cards that um I forgot his name. I think Alistair, Alistair maybe, what was his name? I, I kind of forgot. The one who faced Yugi and defeated him because of the seal of Oricalcos and whatnot. Very cool card. I love Scythe. It's one of my favorite weapons. Any any monster that has a Scythe or like um, anything that ha uh, is holding a Scythe looks cool to me. Anyways, next pile. There's Attack of the Cornered Rat. Awesome. Then there's a Continuous Destruction Punch. That's, I think, Dark Revolution one. Then there's Time Thief Regulator. Regulator! The song. It's a machine. Then there's Ancient, Ancient Gear Golem. Another old monster. Uh, then there's Christron, I oh know, Christ, Christron, 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 I don't know, Impact, whatever. Very, very cool artwork. It's like a machine guy battling this big monster in the ocean, I believe. Kind of reminds me of that, um, the time that Joey transformed into like that a battle suit and whatnot. Very cool. And then there's uh, what's it called? In Invigor Invigoration, I believe. A magic card. That is old. That is old classic Yu-Gi-Oh. Before they s changed magic cards into spell cards. This from Starter Deck Kaiba. Wow. Or like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards from the old days where um, the spell cards used to be called magic cards worth anything. It's actually in a pretty nice condition. It's not like very bad or beat up condition. It has a little bit of like the um, tears on the edge, just a tiny bit. But overall, it has a it's a very nice condition. Very nice card. Anyways, next is a Spark Blaster. Jaden's card. Then is there's Delta's a uh, Delta Attacker. Another card from a very old set. I just forgot the name of it. Then there's uh, what is this card? Sen Sen May Sen Sen May Day, I believe. My Day, maybe. Continuous Trap. Or oh, for the Wind Up Monsters. Okay, cool. It's a very nice artwork. I like how there's a bunch of little monsters there. And there's this. I don't know what is that. Uh, another robot, maybe, or some fairy girl. It's kind of hard to tell. Anyways, then there's Neo Flame Flam Flamvel Lady or Flamevel. Uh, a woman made out of flames, of course. She's a pyro, not surprised. Then there's um Gen X Ali Birdman. Oh Birdman is in here. Cash money from 1999 and 2000. Did not think Birdman had a, a card, a Yu-Yo card. The uh, CEO of Cash Money, who brought out Wayne, my favorite rapper. Anyways, Birdman. And there's a uh, Mecha Phantom Beast, uh, te Tether, Tether, Tether Wolf, I think. One of those Mecha Phantoms monsters. Pretty cool. And there's Launcher Commander, Asai Beers. Pretty cool card. I like the artwork as well. I very few futuristic machine monster anyways ooh, for the rare i mean it's a super rare the holographic exa enforcer of the necros that, re that really looks like one of those old yu-gi-oh cards i forgot the name but like that lizard blue lizard just looks so much more different 
if only they had that one card I'm talking about in here I would have been able to compare it and how sim a similar it looks but it's a dragon not a lizard or reptile which dragons are basically kind of like reptiles very very cool car there was no rare though yeah there we go there's the rare void purification a continuous trap is that just a sword that's a sword but um it's kind of hard to tell what's around it are those like arms or like something holding it back or something like that i don't know it's very hard to tell but it's for the infernoid monsters i'm assuming anyways pretty cool card so that is the last pile that's all the piles already awesome very random and i like them plus if you want to use them you don't really have to care about the condition you just use them to do in like potentially tournaments or whatever and you don't care about the the um condition because they come like that already anyways um now for the packs so let's see which one should i do first just be dual there's invasion of chaos very good packs to be honest okay i'm gonna put it in order like this so i'm gonna open this one first speed duel arena of lost souls du souls yeah lost souls i'm like confusing myself here uh, let me try to save the pack oh it opened already okay cool anyways let's see what's inside okay so first is clown zombie pretty cool and you can see the, like the the speed duel text here awesome a very classic card and there's the fusion wave motion for the um spellcasters this card is not treated as a fusion card all right limit impulse also this did not used to be on the old versions of the card anyways uh also it only has four cards right yeah so this could be something cool or something just a common card and yeah just a common possessed dark soul pretty cool so those are the four cards all right leave them right here next is invasion of chaos why first or second because i've opened invasion of chaos so many times if you guys are interested check out the playlist and you guys will see all the other Yu-Gi-Oh opening videos i have including a bunch of Invasion of Chaos um, blister packs and whatnot. I'm gonna try to do the card trick. I think it might be these, one of these two, or one of these three. I'll put it right here, just in case. Anyways, uh, first is Anti-Aircraft Flower. And there's Smashing Ground. Gora Turtle Evolution. Energy Drain. Cursed Seal of the Forbidden Spell. Okay, then uh, Sacred Crane. A pretty, pretty cool crane or bird, whatever it's called. Then there's, wait, it has five stars? Oh, never mind, four stars, okay. Blasting, uh, blasting the Ruins. Then there's a rare, Curse of Darkness. Pretty cool, I've gotten that many times. And then there's Skullmark Ladybug. And that is it for the Invasion of Chaos. Unfortunately, nothing super crazy, but they are very, very cool. Anyways, next pack. One of the Duelist Pack Rivals of the Pharaoh. This one, I definitely want to save one of the packs because I don't have it yet. At least a nice one. I want to... Oh, great. It does this all the time. Anyways leave it right there so let's see what's inside silence magician level eight <clears throat> i love the magician cards then there's temple of the king kings the uh, the card that Merrick uses oh then mythical beast of sec uh circuit Cir circuit or circuits whatever which uh, needs temple of the kings as you guys can see right there if you do not control temple of the kings destroy this card so you need both of them and there i have them both then there's silent magician level eight i mean four what the heck i didn't mean to do that uh, and there's level eight right there with 
with level four, pretty cool. And last card, uh, what is that? Castle of Dragon Souls. That's a very cool card. There's a huge castle, kind of looks like from Harry Potter. And then there's a full moon, I'm assuming, and there's a bunch of dragons. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine dragons. Very, very cool. Nice artwork and potentially a good card. I just don't, I don't know. I'm not gonna read it. You guys can read it. Anyways, I'll put it right here. Next pack, Cybernetic Horizon. If I remember, I don't know if it's this one or a different um, similar booster pack, but I have a, a booster box for it. I just don't remember if it's this one or a different one. I haven't opened it. I'm saving it to open it at some point. But I just don't remember if it's Cybernetic Horizon or a different set that looks similar to this. But yeah, anyways. A oh, nice, not a bad opening. All right, so let's see. I'm gonna do the card trick again. I think it was one of these three. Whatever, I'll just put them right there. Then there's a zero extra link. Cool. Then Dragoon Dragoonity, uh, Kos, Kos, Souls, Kos, whatever it's called. The Dragoonity monsters, they're pretty cool. Oh, what's this? Cosmo Brain. This kind of comes like a magician, right? He looks like a magician, like the magician family. If I remember, there's another card with Cosmo, the, a um, normal monster from like the old Yu-Gi-Oh, also called Cosmo something. Are they related? Because they actually look very cool and very similar. Anyways. I really like this one. Ooh, Divine Serp Serpent. Gah, gah, <laughs> or whatever it's called. That's a very long effect. But this is the card that, um, I forgot the, the evil guy, the, um, the villain in the last Yu-Gi-Oh. Not the last one. The Cyril Orocalcos, the villain from that, that, uh, arc. He used this card. It's supposed to have inf infinite attack and defense, but, um, it has question mark instead of an uh, infinite but regardless it's very cool it has um that is 12 stars they should have made it like at least a rare or maybe holographic unfortunately i guess it's not that good potentially i'm not quite sure anyways there, there's a cybernetic overflow for the cyber dragons pretty cool the cyber dragon is our charging, I think. I'm, I'm not quite sure. Anyways, then there's turning of the world. That's a very cool concept. So there's a different world here, I think, and there's a different one here. And in a, um, oh, what are these things called again? The um, time things, I forgot what they're called. But anyways, it's a quick spell card. Here we go. Ooh, a holographic. I think there are actually, um, it's a holographic in every pack, if I'm not inc incorrect. Um, no specific card rarity is guaranteed to exist within an individual pack. Oh, okay. So yeah, I'm not sure. But um, yeah, I, I don't know when when the, the super rares were guaranteed but i'm not sure if it started with this pack or around these this set but anyways uh noble knight pelinor 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 potentially another knight on a horse a very cool noble knight i like to shine i like to shine off the horse's eyes to shine off the guy's armor and the horse's armor very very cool card it's a warrior. It has 1900 attack for a four star monster. That's actually very cool. There's the effect. A very nice card. Then there's, ooh, another, um, a rare, a Siberia's Witch. It's a pretty cool looking card. And she's a Siberia's Link monster. 
awesome. Oh, and there's another card. Oh, wow. Crusader, Crusader, um, Regulex. That's a very cool card. I like the artwork as well. A Beast. Another Link Monster. Anyways, that's that pack. Very cool cards. Now for Duelist Pack Yugi. Oh, wait. Which one should I do first? This one or this one? I'll go with uh, Duelist Pack Yugi. So another old pack. A very rare one as well. All right, so that one kind of opened nicely. Time to save the pack. Uh, not not so bad. Anyways, first is Green Gadget. The cards Yugi use, of course. Then King's Knight, very cool. Buster Blader, non holographic. Oh my, I got a super rare Sorcerer of Dark Magic. I love this card. He used it in, um, if I remember correctly, from Yu Gi Oh! the movie, right? The first, one of the first Yu Gi Oh! Yu Gi Oh! movies. They're so cool with a pyramid of light in that movie. So he's a holographic. You were able to get also the this same card uh, in a uh, movie pack when you went to the movies, and I wasn't able to get to get it. If I remember, that's what what happened. And um, but he was a common card from the movie set. But this one is a uh, holographic. Very badass. He's a magician, of course, from the magician family. So cool. I should have opened this one last, to be honest. A very high attack and defense. Higher than Blue Eyes White Dragon. But I think it's a, a little tough to summon. Regardless, a very, very cool card. I love how his armor shines or his outfits, whatever. Actually, if I remember, I pulled him already from this pack years ago. So this is my second one, but I love it regardless. This one I'm definitely gonna um, uh, putting on, on those uh, hard plastic things that you screw on. I'm gonna put it in that. I have a couple left. And then there's Marshmallow. Marshmallow, no wait, Marshmallow. Marshmallow. Another Yugi card, of course. They're all from Yugi, which is Duelist Pack Yugi, of course. So that's why. Anyways, <clears throat> putting them there. Now the last pack. Can we end with a hollow? I really hope so. So five cards in every pack. There's six ultra rares. Hopefully I get one of those. But yeah, another Rivals of the Pharaoh. So let's see. I wanna try to open this one nicely and hopefully it doesn't rip like the other one. Please, at least one. Damn it. Oh great, never mind. Whatever, I'll just try to open it nicely like this. I wanna save this pack, but it always rips. I wanna save it like nicely opened. Anyways, there's a Sangan. Um, not sure if he's useful still. Okay. He used to be useful back then a lot. Uh, then there's Silent Swordsman level seven. Silent Swordsman level three. Now we need um, number level five. Then Stronghold of the Moving Fortress. And oh, I thought it was a soup. Uh, I thought it was a holographic, but it's a rare Dark Magician of Chaos. But regardless, a very cool card, which I actually pulled this specific card from Invasion of Chaos in a, one of the videos. Not gonna mention which one, but uh, yeah, it was a insane pull. And now I have it as a rare, which I think I also pulled it from this pack before. I just don't remember. But yeah, Magician of Chaos, uh, actually a nice ending since he is a magician and I love magicians. But yeah, that is it. A very cool opening. I love the packs. I love how it has different packs in these blister packs. Well, if you get the ones that have um, different packs inside, of course, and then these loose packs. But yeah, that is it. Anyways, now time for Garfield's 2023 calendar segments. Here's the segment where I continue showing the comic strip from the day I left off. 
and I left off on where was it? Let me just quickly find it. Oh my goodness. There. I left off on the 9th of April, of course. I've decided to give back to the world, but first I'm going to take a bunch of stuff. And that is the one from the 9th. Now to continue with the next day. April 10th on a Monday. Easter Monday, Australia, Canada, Ireland, uh, NZ, whatever that is, you, United Kingdom, except Scotland. I guess Scotland doesn't like Easter eggs. So let's see. Garfield with Odie um, with his tongue out. And John is just looking disappointed at something. Look, Odie, his ears go up. <laughs> and they're like, wait, what happened? Oh, wait, what? Didn't I see this one already? I specifically remember this one. Whoa, what? Wait, let me check. You know, there's not any binge. Never I wouldn't find my environment for chickens. Yeah, I've seen this one. Am I confusing it? April. Oh, I'm. <laughs> it's not April anymore. I keep thinking it's April. It's on May. We're on. We're on May, not on April. What the heck? How do I confuse the dates? I was so confident it was April still. But no, it's um May. I made a mistake. Anyway, so this was the last co uh, comic strip from from the previous video. I'm not going to read it. You guys can read it right there. Anyways, next actual date. Wednesday, May 10th no special date dinner ideas let's see a couple of pizzas donuts lasagna some garlic bread and whatever you're having of course <laughs> of course <laughs> she's disappointed at his on his answer and he's very very happy and yeah he's gonna eat all of that and whatever she wants which is potentially less than that all right may 11th on um, Thursday, no special date. That new coffee place open. Their sizes are huge. I got the Cafe Colossal. I got the mother of the Cafe Colossal. <laughs> that is funny. He just brought it out out of nowhere. <laughs> Look at John, he's like crazy for that coffee cup. He'll drink it in a second, potentially. Anyways, next is May 12th on our Friday, no special date. Today I'm introducing a new future. And I call it look at the handsome cats. Yes, that is a very handsome cat. Garfield is very handsome, indeed. All right, next is, uh, it counts for both days. Today's the 14th. So May, th May 13 and 14 on Saturday and Sunday. So the dates are Mother's Day uh, on in USA, Australia, Canada, and NC, whatever that is. So uh, tell your mother, happy Mother's Day, I guess, if you have one, of course. You know what's interesting? What? Those little villages made out of toothpicks. You know your who's doll? You know who's doll? <laughs> He's that interested in the little villages made out of toothpicks. But yeah, anyways, that is it. I will continue on the next on the next video for the Garfield's 2023 23 calendar segment. But for now, that is it. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Comment down below what you guys think, and I'll see you guys in the next Yu-Gi-Oh opening video.